sir. Sorry there, Dutch. Keep it coming. Oh, oh. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? <laughs> sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. 
Lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? I'd really appreciate the help. I I'm worried this one here will bolt on me too. Go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one? And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you not hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. See what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Sure, you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. 
Yeah, that's a young man's game. Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Something else. All right. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the store. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? Why don't you pick out a cigar? A cigar always focuses the mind, I find. What are you saying? Well, you seem a little scattered, Arthur. Trust old uncle. Full stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> it's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Yeah. Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly? Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! I've been looking to die in the street. Get your hands off me, mm. friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Oh, right wait, now. Uncle. Oh, Mary Beth, they're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her! I'll go see about Karen in the hotel. Come on, try and help people. I, I do all I can manage. Are you doing all Can I help you, sir? Huh? Use your <coughs> use your strength. 
to help the weak. You looking for a room? No trouble now, please. Sorry, wrong room. Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just me and. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. Okay there? There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Give more. Just borrowing it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Two choices. Either raise them or die where you stand. Too late. Oh, no. You're dead. Shoot his ball! 
Welcome back. Something slip your mind before? Beef, pork, Mister. venison. All right here, folks. Oh, a little touched God. in the head. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a tough as teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone <laughs> can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy, Are you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, <laughs> and we have our answer. <laughs> Thank you. 
sir. You burned this. Yeah, I hit like I did. Get the hell off Got bombed. I beg you, stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business <laughs> is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Sir? Sir, you all right? Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. Well, well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill, looking as well as can be? Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater, uh, ah, well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on.
Yep. Here. I don't think you should just be wandering around here, friend. Not a thing happens around here without an O'Driscoll saying so. Understand me? That's it. Off your trot. We'll be sure to keep a bullet warm for you. Just listen. Out for the accents. Right, down you go.
good, sir. Snap out of it, girl. Hi, Karen. Hi there, Jack. Please, come on, you brought me in, help me! Speak! Don't cry, boy, speak! About your gang! <laughs> I can't! <laughs> boy! Whoa, hold your horses there! It seems the, uh... Cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all he is. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit! You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Huh? Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, Eunuchs was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. Oh, no, you're kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastards! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Oh. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. Oh, none taken. <laughs> okay then, partner. Uh, why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Kill <him. laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. I ain't no O'Driscoll. Well, you sure as shit was. John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh... We're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, you kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respect. He taking us to Cole? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. I'll leave. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like. God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan! You got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dutch said that you might. I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me, instead of hiding it somewhere? 
Hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey. Hey. If I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah. I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. Morgan! You didn't tell me what the O'Driscoll smelled like before you asked me to ride with him. That's because you wasn't asked to ride with us. You was told. I smell like a stall ain't been cleaned out in a month. I smell like that because you had me tied up there about as long. You'd be smelling worse if we'd done what someone was arguing for. Granted, granted. I was in with a bad lot. I'm trying to make amends, if I can. You don't know the half. I do know Colm killed Dutch's sweetheart. And that's the man you chose to ride with. A woman killer. Well, it was after he killed his brother. And the way I understood it, the... Uh... Making excuses for the man, and his crimes. What kind of trap you leading us into, boy? I ain't. I'm trying to help, honest. One thing goes wrong. One thing other than you smelling funny, you're the first O'Driscoll will shoot. Uh, and quit breathing on my neck. Now we go left, the uh, road will take us up and round. Save your horses, we gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... Tell us then, how are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law. Nature. You're out for yourselves. See? This is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boys, we're almost on them. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Amen to that. Okay, now now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. Whoa! We're going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. 
I ain't gonna shop you now. Come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Just over the ridge. Okay, get down. The cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Wary of strangers, yep. And Colm O'Driscoll? Oh, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. It's really you want me to take him? A knife. The old man loses it. I won't get another chance for the ages. I'll be stood guard duty. Shut up the thumb down. Soil my guard with the spot. Don't Make a call, move. Don't A moment of peace. What the hell? Yes, they know we're here. Let's go. Still here.
Okay. Now what? We're at the perimeter. Okay, now what? We're at the perimeter. Idiots! Still here. Boy said he'd be in the cabin. I'm gonna check. You all look out here. You 
all right? Sure. Thank you. <sighs> Como Driscoll. He ain't here. You set us up. Come here! What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Como Driscoll ain't here! He was here, I swear! I, sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. Get lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away now. Go on, get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp quick. See, Arthur? Yeah, I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> yeah, right you are.
least you got something tucked away. Let's go, boy. Eat this, boy.
I'll sleep well tonight. Okay, boy. What in the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, come here. I want to talk to you. I can use a fella like you. You want to make some easy money? Come with me. I can't talk you. of a friend double-crossed me again, and I ain't gonna stand for it this time. So listen, he's staying at the nearby hotel. You rob him, we split the money. What do you say? Find someone else. I ain't interested. Fine. Suit yourself. You're lost, pal. You had been friends back in 73. You rode the Alabaster Trail together. Funny thing about Big's penises. They're curly like their tails. Who's your friend there? <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. And how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win, freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. 
any of them get uppity, shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot them? It does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to them. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. A dollar for your future. A dollar for your fate. Take this. You are not who you think you are, sir. Which is lucky. All right, friend.
don't want to involve yourself with this. Hey, get yourself out of there. I know you now. Better watch your back. You don't want to see what happens if you don't leave. I'll shoot you dead before you know it.
zombie twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Sure. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool, always complaining. But does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. Aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage, for me, has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit? He was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide, too, as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh, yeah? Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <laughs> So, you live at Emerald Ranch, then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. Delights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there, all shut down now, but I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Either way, it's time I left. Especially now I lost that poor horse. I'll collect my belongings and be on my way. Back home? I guess. I bet my husband's right where I left him. Bottle in hand. We're getting close now. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please, take this as my way of thanking you. Hmm. Appreciate it. <sighs> what a lousy day.
Dutch, Miss O'Shea. Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. 
You uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. But they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! <clears throat> What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. <sighs> they nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging them. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No. I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Easy. I rode as fast as I could, didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off him. What were you boys doing? You were supposed to be scouting ahead for us. Slow down! <laughs> what did you ride off for? Uh, are we going for this drink then? Like you were saying before, I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. And then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get them? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down, then head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you, me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. You got a problem? You gonna follow me into the Jakes as well? Here we are. Don't forget to push that back. This your way of stretching your love. 
Just one or two, right, off Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. You'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Mike... A lot Mikey... of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, they're dullards. My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last 10 years. I'm bored with being left alone. Listen, buddy, you're a charming fellow, one of the best. <laughs> but me and the kid here, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just trying to be friendly. <laughs> Oh. Mm. oh. <laughs> That's great, partner. <laughs> Lenny, Lenny, where are you? You know which way my friend went? Oh, I don't know beans about that. Lenny? Hey, Lenny! Lenny, where are you? Doing, kid? Hello, Arthur. <laughs> you know what? I don't know. <coughs> oh. 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 <laughs> Man, why ain't you never marry? No one would have me. That's the thing, you see, because it. Lenny? Lenny! Get away from me! Yeah. Whoa, slippery little right. shit, ain't you? Yeah. Oh, come on! Get, 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 get down from there! Lenny! Leave the kid alone, you goddamn animals! Well, who do you think you're talking to? Nobody. I'm talking to nobody. What did you say? What? I said, what did you say? Get lost, buddy. Shut up, mister. Yeah, shut your mouth, mister. Hey! 
bastard! Oh, Lenny! Lenny, stop slumping off on me! How many of you have, pal? <laughs> Found you, Lenny! <laughs> I'm Clyde. You got the wrong fella. Friend of me, Arthur. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Now you again? Drunken fool! I said stop! Laugh! Liberty! And the pursuit of happiness! Arthur! Ah, you alive? Arthur! Uh, you alive, Arthur? Uh, I want to die. Where are we? What did we do? I don't know. Oh, me neither. Ugh. Yeah. You paired degenerates. Ugh. There's a fine for drunken violence in this town. You're just lucky no one was killed. Hey, we didn't start a thing. <laughs> yes, you did. Well, I don't remember. Either you fools got any money, it's $10 and you're free to walk. Sure. Now, get out of here. I don't want to see either you around here no more. Oh, 
So, that was a quiet drink? First one was pretty quiet. <laughs> yeah, the first one was pretty quiet. At least it took your mind off goddamn Mikey. Well, that's certainly true. I gotta get out of here. I'm just gonna have a little sit down and feel sorry for myself. Oh. 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 There's some good folk we'll never see again because of you. For pity's sake, no more trouble. Been a while, boy. Whoever you were mixing it up with is wearing less red. Okay, boy. Find a fresh dug graves on your account. You best to come in peace.
Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. Easy. Tough as a dead cow. Surrounded by icebergs. Slowly starving. And then... Good morning, Arthur. And then the boat comes down with the play. And men are dying like it's a race. The parson, he can't keep up with the funerals. We're bearing them two, three at a time, and there's 50 sharks. Chasing the boat just to feast on the corpses. This is a pick. Good morning, Arthur. Tough. That ain't tough. Seeing sharks. That's a holiday. Toughest. Driving in a new city. Parents newly dead. No one looking after you except some scumbags you meet on the street. Folks starving, people desperate. <sighs> How old were you? Nine. It's nine years old I've been living on my wits. <laughs> Chance to see that. Uh, 